Nikola Tesla, ninjas, and horrible CGI. What do these three things have in common? Well, they all form the basis for the anime Tesla Note. Tesla Note is an anime that I would refer to as silver wrapped in dog poop. The main reason is because of the art. For some god-awful reason, they decided that what they really needed to do with this particular anime was blend horrible CGI and regular animation together. The traditional animation in the show is actually pretty darn good, but you'll hardly see it because they put terrible CGI throughout the entire thing. I have no idea what they were thinking, and there is some moments in this anime which are absolutely jarring to watch, especially when you see CGI elements interacting with regular traditional animation. But that aside, I actually have a whole lot of stuff that I like about this anime. To break it down, the anime is about a small girl who is raised by her grandpa and trained to be a ninja. Why is she trained to be a ninja? Well, because Nikola Tesla himself interacted with the grandfather a long time ago and told this story about how he took all of his wonderful inventions that he made, some of which that he never released, and he put them into these tiny little crystals called Tesla shards. For reasons only to push the plot forward, the grandfather was told about this and warned that if any crazy things happen in the future, that he should as quickly as possible grab all of the shards for himself to protect the world. The thing sounds ridiculous and it sounds really stupid, but it actually has kind of a lot of heart to it. I was, I was really impressed. If you can get past the animation style, which you won't, then you will actually find a little bit of silver lining within everything. The characters kind of interact with each other kind of fun. I think that they play the main male character with the main female character a little too much as far as their bickering goes. I've only seen the first three episodes so far, but it's been kind of a little cringy at times, but mostly it's pretty good. They put some really interesting scenarios together and the entire thing is just as absurd as you would imagine, but in a really fun way. I think the first episode does a good job at kind of summing up everything that you're gonna see from that point forward. You'll meet the characters, you'll run through the main parts of the story and everything will come together to kind of lead into where the rest of the series is gonna go from that point. But I really just can't get past the animation. I cannot for the life of me fathom why they decided to choose CG when they were going to do it in such a low budget way as the primary focus for this style. Especially when you look at the traditional animation parts and see that they look pretty darn good. I think the anime does a good job at mixing action and comedy elements together. It does come off as a little cringy with the bickering, but for the most part, it's pretty interesting. Sounds weird to say, but even with the animation as weird as it is, I want to continue to watch this show just because of the way that the story and the characters play out. The anime definitely has a lot of weird stuff and not all of it makes a lot of sense, but I don't really think that anime always needs to be like deep and have heavy storylines. Sometimes it's simply just about the fun of it. And I think that Tesla Core has that deep inside of its shell. Again, like the last video, I have a hard time recommending this to people, but honestly, if you like interesting characters and, and totally off the wall storyline development, I think you actually might like this one if you can get past the animation. It's interesting to me that the game was made by Bandai because a lot of it actually feels like a video game. It wouldn't surprise me at all if this was a video game that was scrapped and turned into an anime, but I don't believe that's the case. At the time of this video's posting, almost all of the season is out. There's up to 12 episodes that are out right now out of a total of 13 for the full series. Now is a great time to get into it if you want to go through the entire story and not have to wait. If you want to check it out right now, it's streaming on Funimation. And the final episode releases on December 26th of 2021.